welcome. We are going to show you how to use Verberate 2 so kick back, relax, and let's get started. Verberate 2 is a great sounding reverb that has the sound of natural acoustic environments. Let's start with the reverb parameters. Dry level. This is the amount of dry signal that is sent to the output in decibels. You can use the toggle button to exclude the dry signal completely and lock the relation between the dry and reverb levels by clicking the lock button located between the dry and reverb level sliders. Reverb level. The amount of reverberation sent to the output specified in decibels. You can use the toggle button to exclude the late reverberation completely, a quick and useful feature. ER Boost This is the amount of early reflections that are sent to the output specified in decibels in relation to the reverb level. The early reflections are very important. They create the perception of distance. Increasing the early reflection level gives the impression of getting closer to the sound source. You can use the toggle button to exclude the early reflections completely. Algorithm Verberate 2 offers two late reverb algorithms. The new Vivid Hall algorithm is the most natural algorithm and recommended. Early Reflections Mode you can choose the early reflection mode from a set of predefined modes, such as rooms, chambers, halls and plates. The modes with names that correspond to natural acoustical surroundings aims at realism and are most natural. The most realistic room simulations of small room sizes. Halls of course, require larger room sizes to sound natural. The wide early reflections are designed to be as smooth as possible while at the same time enhancing the stereo image. These are great for music production. Reverb Time The reverb time specifies the duration of the reverb. It is specified by the number of seconds before the reverb tail level drops below minus 60 decibels or one one thousandth of its initial amplitude. The freeze button on the left hand side of the numerical reverb time. Entry can be toggled to freeze the reverb. The reverb time is infinite and no input is added when the reverb is freezed. Try experimenting with this for some interesting results. Room size. This defines the size of the simulated acoustical environment. A larger room size will give the impression of a larger environment. You can really control how the reverb sounds with this function. Pre delay. This is shown in milliseconds. The pre-delay slider allows you to adjust the time before the reverberation signal arrives. This also plays an important role in how the size is perceived. Stereo Spread You can use the Stereo Spread parameter to control the stereo width of the reverberation signal. If the stereo spread is set to 0%, the reverberation signal will be mono and at 100% the full stereo width is achieved. The Vivid Hall algorithm allows stereo spread values above 100%. Vivid Hall uses mid-side processing when the stereo spread is above 100% and the reverb gradually decays more into the side channel with higher values. This ensures mono compatibility while adding a touch of extra width. Dispersion Frequency dispersion is an effect that occurs in mechanical plate reverbs. High frequency content travels faster in metal than low frequency content. You can set the amount of dispersion in percent, and 0% disables the effect completely. 
Now some features only available to Vivid Hall. Swirl. The swirl effect smooths the frequency spectrum as the reverb tail fades out, this gives the reverb a vintage swirly or cloudy effect. You can specify the effect strength in percent and 0% disables the effect completely. Bloom. The bloom parameter changes build up time of the reverb and is specified in percent relative to the room size. The late reverb build up gets quicker with bloom values less than 100% and slower with values above. Now some features only available when using the Legacy Hall. Modulation Rate Modulation can be applied to the late reverberation to simulate fluctuations, or modulations, in the arrival times of the sound waves. You can control how rapid the fluctuations are, by using the modulation rate. Experiment with this as it can give some interesting results. Modulation Depth The modulation depth controls the depth of the modulation ranging from no modulation when set to 0%, up to full modulation when set to 100%. The Decay Editor The Decay Editor allows you to set up reverberation times that are dependent of the frequency. Air absorbs high frequencies to a larger degree than lower frequencies, so the low frequencies will in general have a longer reverberation time in natural spaces. This effect is easily modeled in the decay editor with a high cut or a high shelving filter. The Vivid Hall algorithm offers high and low cut, high and low shelving as well as bell filters to sculpt decay behavior with great flexibility. These filter types all have variable filter slopes. The Legacy Hall algorithm offers high and low shelving filters. With a fixed slope. You can toggle the filter bands using the buttons in the upper right. The Decay Editor lets you define frequency dependent reverberation times and the curve displays the relative reverberation time as a function of frequency. Output Equalizer You can use the Output Equalizer to apply filtering to the reverb signal. This is a very powerful feature that enables coloration of the reverb. Both the early reflections and the dense reverberation are filtered using the Output Equalizer. The Output Equalizer is operated in the same way as the Decay Editor and you can use the button in the upper right corner to toggle filter bands. The Output Equalizer allows detailed control over the frequency content of the reverberation which can change the character of the space. The Preset Manager you can browse through preset categories and presets as well as create and manage your own presets. Check out the additional presets available in the link below. You can browse through the presets using the arrow buttons. Alternatively, you can click the current preset name and a drop-down menu appears. Click the button with the magnifying glass icon to search for a preset. Matching presets appear in a drop-down list as you type. You can also save your own presets by choosing Save User Preset File from the menu. A File Chooser dialog box appears where you can enter the name of the preset you wish to save. You can create subfolders and place your preset files inside, and these will appear as categories in the user presets. Presets from Verberate 1 can be imported into Verberate 2 by clicking Load User Preset File, and looking up the preset file. Please note that this won't be 100% accurate in all cases, so we recommend to keep Verberate 1 installed for legacy projects. Undo and Redo You can undo or redo changes to the parameter settings by clicking the circular arrow, back or forward buttons. A. B. Comparisons 
It is useful to be able to quickly compare different parameter settings. You can do this using the A, B comparison buttons. Note, you can keep two independent sets of parameter settings, the A and B settings, this allows you to switch between them using the corresponding buttons. The arrow button copies the settings from A to B, or the other way around depending on which parameter set that is currently active. The processor menu. The last button in the header section displays the processor menu. The processor menu allows you to access the processor help topics directly along with other processor specific features. Now you have the knowledge to use this great sounding reverb like a pro. Be sure to check out our many video tutorials, audio examples, guides and presets. Subscribe if you like. Have a great day and take care.